All right, this arena run shows off some even more broken strats in pack four. There's so many broken strats. It's just like the old version of this game where everything feels super OP and the, it just, I guess it kind of cancels out because there's so many really good strats. And this one shows off Flea plus Poison Dart Frog. Poison Dart Frog just deals a lot of damage. And Flea, it makes the strongest enemy on the opponent's team instantly just get weakness. And then when you level it up, it does its ability multiple times. So like two weaknesses, three weaknesses. And it gets just out of control. Because, I mean, there's so many things that are good with the Poison Dart Frog. Mostly just Slug, but, I mean, there's uh, quite a few summons in this pack. And the Slug just instantly gets you two spawns. Or, if you get the Whale, which swallows a Slug, you can get three spawns. So that's just crazy amount of triggers. A total of four feints from the Poison Dart Frog. And everything's already weakened. So the Poison Dart Frog automatically targets the things that are strongest. So it's automatically targeting the things that have weakness. It's just so good. Because it's dealing 7 damage at level 1, 11 damage at level 2. If you get 4 triggers off of that, you're dealing 44 damage. This is a tier 4 and a tier 3. My god, is it so broken. It's crazy, but it's so much fun. I've been having a lot of fun just playing around with pack 4. And um, I hope everyone else is too. And I'm hoping that they don't nerf everything into oblivion. I'm hoping that like... There are some things that are actually bugged. I'm hoping they fix them, but I'm hoping they don't go too hard on the nerfs and that pack four is still a lot of fun like it is right now. And hopefully hopefully also viable compared to the other packs because uh, if you don't know, in 1v1s, a lot of times the only packs that are used are packs one and two because unfortunately pack three is just very bad compared to those. So you're putting yourself at a major disadvantage if you try to use that pack. And uh, most of the tournaments these days just use the static packs, so the three packs that you are or that are already formed. Um, you can see here, so the starting stuff, I mean, the extra trumpets just gain a 1-1, sure. And I think tier 4s in this pack are looking really good. There's a lot of good tier 4s, and I immediately hit the slug. So already, that's like a 7-7 if it doesn't get sniped. And there's the poison dart frog, just absolutely insane. So immediately, I'm going to get 12 damage here, and it's only turn 5. Like, this is almost equivalent to a snake. Uh, it does one less damage, and it does hit the highest health enemy. But still, like, damage-wise, it just feels extremely good. And then I think tier 3s are... The good ones are the... Uh, what the heck is that called? Okay, I actually don't know all the names, but it gives plus 3, plus 3 to the thing behind... And that's just a lot of good stats. Plus you have this spiky thing, which reduces the health on two enemies when it's level two uh, by three. So that's also a pretty helpful ability. And it's just got overall like half decent stats here. I shouldn't have put it in the back though. That's a mistake right there. You want to put it more towards the front so its ability actually does something. And then uh, gain two trumpets. There's a lot of ways to get trumpets really fast. And trumpets I think are pretty viable. Um, probably one of the best ways to do it though is via summons. So there is a, oh man, I forget the pet, but, uh, when something on your team faints, you gain one trumpet and the cherry will, uh, pretty much double that ability. So you get two trumpets every time something faints. And then if you get like a slug or a wolf, is that right? I think it's the wolf, the something that summons three pigs. Um, you can just get a lot of summons and then you'll get a lot of trumpets and there's some things as well, like gain 50% trumpets. I've seen people get 50-50 trumpets pretty quickly. So, uh, I mean, 50-50 golden retrievers, not trumpets. And then I roll into triple flea. So I was like, wait a second. Flea is actually great with this team. I almost rolled. That would have been a huge mistake. But, I mean, it's a 1-1. It looks deceptive, but it's so good. And there's level 2 slug, so... Um, that's also going to help just with some initial stats, I guess. Get out of range of the royal fly pecker. What is it? I don't know. That bird. But yeah, so weakness on a 3-8. Going to go ahead and reduce its HP a little bit as well with the spiky thing. I probably should learn the names of all the pets. I will eventually. Don't worry. And another win by a 1-1. One, one. Pretty nice. So Flea feels really good right now. I mean, there's a lot of pets that just feel really good. And there's honestly some pets that feel really weak. Like, I mean, the fox, like, its ability is after 
uh, it attacks. So it has to live in order to just get one gold next turn. And, like, most likely it's not going to live two attacks. So it's not even, like, better than Swan, really. It doesn't have crazy stats. The Chocolate Cake, good tempo, and it gives permanent stats here. So plus an additional 3-3 for this turn. And then I'm going to get 6-6 six, six onto this guy. So Chocolate Cake, very good food. Seems definitely worth to buy here. And then, yeah, 6-6 six, six is incredible scaling. Considering it was such good tempo as well um, early on. Uh, so another Poison Dart Frog. I think actually I could have ran two separate slugs. That would have been really interesting. If I sold the spiky thing for double slug uh, Poison Dart Frog, man, that would have been nasty. Um, and then I decided to just take a random crane. So it's a 9-2. When something get, gets hurt, it gives it melon and 5 attack, which is pretty crazy. Um, it's almost worth it, I wonder, just to take the cake and the uh, thing that gives 3-3, three, because three, that's just instantly good tempo, it gives 6-6, six, six, and then you also get a permanent 3-3. Three, three. It does cost 6 gold, though. But yeah, you can see the weakness is replacing all equipment as well, so that is very helpful. Um, and the poison dart frog is just cleaning up here. Don't think I actually got to use the crane ability. Don't really need it on this team, but there's level 2 poison dart frog, so now 11 damage. Cobra is interesting. So immediately it shoots 10% uh, of its attack to two random enemies. Um, this is just a snail pretty much, so, you know, why not take it? The problem is, like, 10% is so minimal because it's only one damage. In order to get to two, you have to get all the way up to 20 attack. So it doesn't seem like it's super helpful right now. Uh, banana actually doesn't really increase any of the spawns. It just gives an extra 4-4 four, four monkey. But, I don't know, sure, why not? I'm hoping for a bunch of tomatoes eventually, because that would be perfect, just to increase the snipage. I mean, the sniping, 11 damage is just so good. Another 8 damage there, another 8 damage there. I mean, 24 damage at this point in the game, or 33, is just so much. And it, I mean, it's hard to stop. All right, go for level three poison dart frog. I was thinking about one of those things, but I uh, don't. I think it would just activate the first faint ability, which is the spiky thing. Uh, one of these days, I'll actually remember his name. So there we go. There's the whale to get an extra spawn potentially. I could give like the nine seven a pita bread, but I figured I would just rather roll to try to get level three poison dart frog or try to find another slug here. And a tomato, sure, why not? free 10 damage or possibly 13 damage i said that uh, egg and tomato were the same thing i think in the previous video but egg always hits the first unit and tomato is actually random so a lot of trumpets here a little bit scary it's gonna spawn something pretty big and then my poison dart frog dies okay that's actually really bad but luckily it made the golden retriever spawn a lot smaller so not really a huge problem um there is uh, another flea and another slug it's kind of um, I don't know. I could try to go for level three. The problem is I need to feed the whale of food in order to eat this pet, and it has to be the leftmost. So I just decided to take the pretzel. It only gives two two, but it allows this build to work, and I get another faint trigger here. So I'm gonna look for level three. Um, leveling up the whale is kind of weird with chocolate, cause then you gotta be careful if you feed this whale anything, cause it will just swallow the leftmost pet. And I assume that you can't swallow another whale. I actually don't know what happens. Hopefully it just keeps the slug if I do feed it a chocolate. But I'm not really sure. Alright, so 11 damage there. I did give it coconuts, but it's going to go ahead and kill that thing. Uh, even the egg doesn't stop the poison dart frog from actually doing its ability. And, okay, this one's actually going to be a loss. A pretty good team there. But level 3 poison dart frog. And now, what do I even want to level up here? I probably should have tested it just to know, because it would be good info. Um, but I'm on 9 wins, and I still have a ton of hearts. They changed the life system, so you only lose by how many pets you lose by. And the most you can lose is 3? I'm actually not sure if there's a cap or not. But uh, this makes the arena runs a lot longer. You have so much more time. And uh, I probably imagine that they're going to revert it, if I had to guess. But, I mean, they like reverting a lot of things. And as you can see... Just too much damage, 12 damage every snipe. You can't really stop it with the weakness. And just an incredible team. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See ya. Oh, wait, I should watch uh, what reward we get. Also, first daily game, plus 50. Got the moon hats. Okay, that's a new one. But yeah, okay, thanks for watching. See ya.